<clears throat> okay, um, this is <clears throat> Gandalf0987, and uh, I'm trying to talk close to the mic because I don't have much of a voice right now. Um, I got a whole bunch of new stuff right after I got off work, um, and I got Mario 2 in the mail. Um, yeah, let's just start with that. First off, I got Mario Brothers 2. It's sealed uh, in mint condition. Amazing condition. Uh, one of my YouTube friends mentioned, hey, I got found this at a yard sale for $2. I was like, are you kidding me? You found Mario Brothers 2 for $2, okay? It's still sealed. This game is really hard to find sealed. And the, it, the corners are perfect. It's just in amazing condition, and he sold it to me for just a few dollars, so... I want to thank him. Uh, his name's JJ the Jet sixty nine, and uh, check out his YouTube channel if you like to. But uh, yeah, thank you for this. This is a great addition to my sealed collection. All right. Um, next up, I have a game called Thundercade, which I found on eBay, and it's also in really great shape, sealed. Really nice condition here. And uh, sorry for the lighting, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, this is like 20 bucks, so I thought I'd pick this up, because this is a hard game to find sealed. It's from Sammy Studios. Uh, when I went to my local video store, we only have one video store, and, uh, they sell some stuff from time to time, and I got Tron Legacy on Blu-ray, because I really like this movie. I wanted it on Blu-ray. Um, that was ten dollars, and I bought this new today. This is twenty-one with Kevin Spacey. Um, I guess I just wanted to spend some money. <laughs> um, ho hopefully this movie's good. I don't have many Blu-rays, so I need to get some. Um, then I went to my local uh, pawn shop, which I hardly go to, and they actually have a ton of PS2 games. I was surprised how many they have. They're six dollars each, but the good thing about them is they're complete and they don't have many scratches on them, hardly at all. Disc, so they're always good to get if they have good titles, and they did. Uh, they have the operative No One Lives Forever, which I've planned to play for a really, really, really long time, and I've just kept putting it off, kept putting it off forever. I wanted to play this game for years, so I finally got it. Finally got around to getting a complete copy of it. And these have the manual and the discs are in amazing condition because they don't buy stuff from people if uh, if they're in bad shape. And I have uh, and I was really surprised to see this. Julep is a quirky game from Natsumi, creators of Harvest Moon. Uh, you basically your mission is to because to kiss a girl. I thought that was really funny and uh, this should be a fun quirky game to play. I was surprised that was there. Someone had traded that in. Um, F1 Championship Season 2000. I was also surprised to see this because I don't often see this game around, especially complete. This is a really old PlayStation 2 game. This game is actually also on PlayStation 1. It's uh, one of the first games for PS2. So that should be interesting because I really love F1 games, which is why I picked up F1 2001 for the Xbox. Got this for about five dollars, if you can believe it. This game's really rare for the Xbox. I like this game a lot. Awesome, awesome racing game right here. I also want to take this time to recommend a game that I have been playing. It got low reviews from GameSpot and IGN, but it's an extremely awesome game uh, in every aspect. It's a third-person shooter, Dark Void. And you probably heard about this. You probably saw the lower reviews and thought, I won't play it. But I have to suggest that you play this game because you'll be blown away by it. It's got amazing music, amazing graphics, top-notch graphics. This game came out in 2010. Very pretty game. It's got a very good um, story. It's got a really highly original sci-fi story. And the game is... Uh, it's just It's just amazing. It's this really original um, third-person shooting action. It's uh, it's using the jetpack is just amazing. It's like 
it's an experience. You just have to experience it. It's one of these games that you experience. It's all about the experience of playing it. Much like GTA 4, you can't really explain it. You just uh, you just have to play it for yourself. And that's that's Dark Void. So I highly recommend Dark Void. Uh, you can get it for super cheap, which is awesome. And this is an underrated Capcom game that's very impressive. And it's a must play as far as I'm concerned. So check out Dark Void. And I'm glad I finally got to recommend this. So that's some new stuff pickups. And uh, I don't want this video to go on forever. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. And I want to thank you again, JJ Jet, for Super Mario Bros. 2. Awesome condition. Amazing. I can't believe you found this at a yard sale, man. I really can hardly believe that. He, found, he said he found it under a stack of comic books. They must have just had it up in their attic for a few years or something. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's all. I'm going to end this video, guys.